think a book that was kind of hidden in a bunch of the buzz about some other books, especially Hellraiser number three, but a book that came out this week was Jenica number one. And this is Jack is your long-term play this week. Yeah. And again, guys, full disclosure, Hell Arisen number three is like the book of the week, right? It's the book that the banner book to pay attention to, but that's not the point of this segment. That's not the point of this portion of the list. The portion of the list is supposed to be dedicated to a book that really, if you look at it in and of itself, you pre-ordered it three months ago. It may not look like a great investment today, but we're looking long term. So the book I want to talk about is TMNT. Jenica number one. Now, of course, you know, I'm a big proponent of Jenica Turtle. Uh, I was on board day one with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 95. Um, a big advocate of the character long term. Gotta be cautious. Seems like everyone's all in. We're still missing those Jenica toys. We're still missing that Jenica merchandise outside of the comics world. But that's really the only thing we're missing from this becoming really part of the permanent turtle lexicon. And uh, coming out with this one shot, I think is big. If you go back in the history, hit those back issue bins. If you're not familiar with turtle books, you may not be aware of this. Now, my hardcore turtle people, shout out to Paul Wiederholt from uh, the Tales from the Flipside podcast. He knows what I'm talking about. Those micro series, those one shots, those origin books are really tough finds at this point. And I'm talking about cover A and cover B. Forget about those incentives. That becomes even tougher. Um, and these incentives, I think, for this book, I think are gonna have legs long-term. The 125 variant, now Brian, we've talked ad nauseum at this point several times about the value of IDW with these 125 incentives. They just don't do them very often. And I had doubts about this one because there's about eight store exclusives. And shout out to the stores who did store exclusives because this is a book I would have for sure wanted to have my hands on an exclusive for two reasons. Number one, because I think it's gonna be a big issue long-term. Obviously, it's the long-term play. Um, and secondly, I think that these incentives are going to have legs. So, you know, even at a one in 25 incentive, if a store did um, a thousand print run, you know, uh, of this book, you're still looking at a fat stack of incentives sitting on those retailers' desks. So I would have expected this incentive to really be selling slowly, but we're still seeing sales of 30 to $35. Now that is outperforming some of the Marvel books that we've already discussed that had immense variant bus. So I think people really are underestimating Jenica Turtle, Brian. I think a, a large part of say like the casual turtle people, the people who they dip their toes in cause they were making some money. Um, they were laughing at me when I was talking turtles before. Um, and then when this whole thing happened, when Jenica was punchline and everybody was going crazy, um, then suddenly everybody was getting in the turtle game. And now, People have kind of gone back home, but you know what I, I, I've noticed that I don't think the community is talking about, and this is what the problem sometimes that I have with top 10 lists, something that you and I have an experience with in the past, but not something we do presently. Not to say that we won't do it again in the future, but um, I think that sometimes things get uh, kind of lost in the shuffle. And one that I feel like has been totally lost in the shuffle Everybody was ready to comment when it was going down, including us, right? We had it on the cold list when we did hot and cold. We've had it on the down portion of three up, three down, talking about Jenica Turtle. That book we talked about, I remember Mike Morello talking about that book going down to like 20 to $25 and talking about how little demand there was for that book. That is a 50 to $55 book today. An IDW book, less than a year old, um, less than I think six months old at this point. Um, selling for $55 that has, you look at the cycle, right? It's already hit its peak. It's come down and then it's risen back up. It's got staying power. So that makes me sit there and go, well, what about people who get introduced? What happens when they make that toy and new people get introduced to Jenica? They are going to want these items and these items are not going to be cheap. I don't think that first appearance is going back down. As long as Jenica exists in the book, as long as she exists as the fifth member, I think that first appearance can only go up. Yeah, yeah especially if they got toys coming out. Yeah, that's, and that's, what, that's the missing piece. Um, and there's so much I would love to say about that that I really shouldn't, but it just it's one of those things where that is going to happen eventually. And when it does, um, I really think that that changes the game. It's just that the process for doing those toys 
isn't the same as the comics. It's, it's all complicated licensing stuff because you're dealing with Nickelodeon. Um, if they do a cartoon and Jenica's featured in a cartoon and you start introducing children in mass to this character, if you start for back to school, when they come out with those book bags, if they have girl ones with Jenica on it, I know my daughters are going to want them. All you would need is a, a turtle shell backpack with the, <laughs> the yellow. Right. And they already do them. If they just start including Jenica in that product mix, if she starts getting that kind of attention, um, if the next Turtles live action movie, they decide to go with the five instead of the four. Uh, any of these things happen, if all of these things happen, this character can do nothing but go up. Um, sure, is it possible that Jenna could go away? Uh, sure, she could. That's always going to be something that's going to scare people. Um, but what I'm talking about is this one shot. I think this one shot is going to be, uh, or this mini series, because it's the, typically the micro series, they're like one to four issues. I think that they're going to be, um, they're going to be overlooked this week because of punchline other weeks because it's issue two, three, and four. Um, and I think that in the long term, that first appearance is going to be expensive. It's going to be outpriced. A lot of people getting that book with that Jenica trade dress, which by the way, as a marketer, I have to say shout out to whoever, and I should, you know what? I should have looked up who this person is, but shout out to whoever the letterer is or whoever did the marketing for the book who came out with the trade dress for this book. Trade dress is phenomenal. This is one of the books where if I was creating a store exclusive, I actually would want to keep that trade dress on rather than do a virgin cover. And I have to say, shout out to the stores who did uh, store exclusives for this because I saw a cool like Mortal Kombat looking video game cover. I saw a cool... Um, kingpin homage where you had jenica as a human and jenica as a turtle a lot of unique stuff um this is one to keep an eye out for i know it's not one everybody's talking about today but i i'm willing to bet a lot of people are not aware that jenica's values are rising and for that reason and all of the reasons that we have consistently talked about about the value of this character i really think that this is a solid long-term play i would be grabbing those incentives if you can get them at or below ratios, specifically below. And I would even look at cover A if you can find it at the right price. Um, and I would be patient because you may see it on some discount lists. So yeah, I've picked this up. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. I've kind of fallen off reading Ninja Turtles. I still pick them up, but I haven't been keeping up with the story since about issue 101. But there is Jenica Ferber out there. I tend to like the Jenica character. I will fully admit, though, I've like sporadically read Ninja Turtles over the past few years. And then, of course, with that Jenica hype, it's like, well, let me see what anyone's talking about. So I went back and started reading it again. But I agree with everything that you just said as far as if I think as soon as there's Jenica toys out there and you got people picking up those toys, it's going to drive more people to the comic books. Now, I agree. I think that first appearance will always be the one to own. But just like other books, when you can't get that first appearance, that number one with that title on it sometimes becomes something that people want to pick up. Not just completionists, but people also new to the hobby don't might not realize, oh, 95 was the issue to get. They just saw Jenica number one and they think that's the one they want to buy. Well, and also think about Wolverine number one and the popularity that it's seen uh, since Wolverine's come back and, and, and being printed again by Marvel Comics so many people can't afford a Hulk 180. So they, they're going for that Wolverine number one. Um, so it's one of those. Two, Thor 126. You know, so, uh, so it's one of those things where um, we see that, we see that often. Uh, another one that comes to mind is Moon Knight, where we're seeing that Moon Knight, Bill Sienkiewicz number one uh, rise in value. We've seen it with Blade. Uh, so I think that this is one of those scenarios. If this book becomes what I think it can uh, you know, a three digit book all day, uh, even then very well, we could end up seeing this. And by the way, the second print, be on the lookout for that Ben Bishop second print, because that's still a seven to $10 book. Um, and I think eventually that book dries up. Also, don't forget pre-orders are currently open to the end of March for those limited release t-shirts. We have that Bolo Club as well as that Haunted and Eternia shirt. You can get those right now at simplebandscomics.com forward slash swag.